It's Sarah here at Plant Based News. We've noticed a growing trend in the number of celebrities revealing that they're vegan and sharing their why. So we've put together a list of the top 10 moments over the last few years. Starting with music artist Neo, who speaks on a live chat show about why he went vegan. Check it out. Okay, so I watched What the Health, the documentary. No, no I have Hold not on. watched it for this reason. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, if you're not ready to quit, <laughs> Don't right. watch I just, it. I want to be ignorant right now. Please. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I ran from it for a few months. I have friends like, yo, you got to watch it. I'm telling you. Because I, I started complaining about, uh, I have tendinitis in both my knees mm -hmm. pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, rehearsals and stuff for shows, my knees would just swell up. With all that dancing you do? Yeah, yeah. So to the point where it was affecting my ability to perform. So I'm right. like, I got to figure something out. And it was telling me, yo, you know, a lot of a lot of it is about the stuff that you eat. But mind you, I feel like I was a T-Rex in another life because, like, me and meat was just <laughs> friends. Like, you can't tell me about no pork. You can't tell me about no chicken. Right. They are my friends. Like, we grew up together. Come on. <laughs> so I was running from it. Decided to finally watch it. I quit cold turkey that night. At number nine, we have RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan, who is often not spoken about his choice to live a vegan lifestyle. Over to you, RZA. When you think about a better tomorrow, you think about veganism in the world. I don't need a dead animal or a dead piece of flesh to go into my live body. There's not nothing on this planet that doesn't want to live. I mean, yeah, to be honest with you, bro, I just, you know, I just hit you with this right here. The reality, how I feel, no animal needs to die for me to live. Every creature with two eyes and a central nervous system was like Tucker. It just wanted to avoid pain and suffering and wanted to be happy. So in that moment, I left behind hamburgers, hot dogs, etc., and I became a vegan and an animal activist. And that was 35 years ago. So I've been a vegan animal activist ever since then. And it's the most important part of my life. Like, I love making music and doing other things, but animal activism I was gonna say Trump, but it surpasses the other things that I do. There's, there's no perfect vegan out there either, and there's no uh, perfect person, but I think adopting a, a vegan diet is really healthy for you, and, and, it's, and it's great for the environment in so many different ways. I think when you're, you know, if people know what go on to slaughterhouses and go on to meat, people, less people would eat it. And I think there will be a time, maybe we look back and, and realize that we can't even believe that we did eat meat at one point. Some of the changes that I've experienced being vegan, I'm no longer anemic. <laughs> I'm intaking so many more healthy foods, obviously vegetables, nuts, greens, seeds that are iron rich. My doctor said, what are you doing? You're no longer anemic. So that's the first benefit. And I thought you had to have meat to have protein and get your iron and that's just, that's false information. So I no longer get sick. Dairy has mucus buildup, which is awful for singers. I don't get sick, and my skin is clear. I lost 30 pounds. Um, I don't have to go to the gym as much. It's not just musicians who are adopting a plant-based diet or a vegan lifestyle. Olympic weightlifter Kendrick Farris also speaks about avoiding dairy. I don't think dairy is a part of an, an Olympic diet. Cow's milk, the reason why we try to avoid just giving any type of dairy, but dealing with cow's milk, man, that's for a cow. That's for a baby cow. Come on, man, get the plant milk. It's easy. It's easy. I don't drink cow's milk because it's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything for my training. It's not gonna do anything for my well-being, but be a hindrance. It's just propaganda, you know. We got, we got souls. Also on the weightlifting theme is vegan strongman Patrick Baboumian, made famous for the documentary The Game Changers. I, I always loved animals and at uh, some point I just realized that I was putting a lot of time and energy in you know rescuing wildlife and 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 trying to help some animals uh, and at the same time I was eating other animals so I just thought well that doesn't make a lot of sense when I was vegetarian I had a I had actually a chronic iron deficiency um, and when I went vegan that went away uh, but I wasn't you know eating you know I wasn't getting more iron than before the only thing that changed was I wasn't having as much dairy as before mm -hmm. and if you have tons of dairy that actually blocks your iron intake so when I was deficient as a vegetarian I would even take iron supplements and the deficient the deficiency wouldn't go away so even if I would have eaten meat it wouldn't help helped because the, the, the dairy was the problem I do feel the best I've ever felt in my life, in my 32 years, physically, I feel the best I've ever felt. Uh, I feel 
incredibly clean and healthy and um, it's strange because you know now I'm meeting all these different I meet, you know talk to all my friends family uh, who are like I can never do I can never go on a plant-based diet I can never be vegan I can and um, and my job is not really, uh, my, my mindset's not like I want to convince other people to do it. I'm like, this is what, this is what I'm doing, this is my decision, and it is not easy. Particularly, I would say more so on the road, that I'm on the road the whole time. So in different countries I'm going to, some of not even understanding what a vegan is. <laughs> so um, it is very challenging, and there's things you see, but it's very weird because once you cross the line, once you go over that hill, and you go, it's, it's, I can't imagine going back. Like there's things that I see my friends eating and I used to eat it and I'm like I feel sick to think what you're putting in your body but that's because now I've read about it and I understand it I understand it I've, I've read some of the science that's been and I'm like eh. actor Jessica Chastain is also vegan and speaks about her mom adopting a plant-based diet while visiting her in LA my mom came to visit me in Los Angeles and we started going to some restaurants and while she was with me she was like I'm just gonna eat vegan food for the three weeks that I'm here and she actually lost a ton of weight and she had so much energy that she went home and became vegan and lastly here is a clip of Tandiwe Newton speaking to already vegan Woody Harrelson about her newly adopted vegan lifestyle well, I have been vegan since working with Woody yeah I have you're one of the converts literally the last four months, it's been four months, hasn't done anything to my brain. I'm absolutely fine. Thank you so much. <laughs>